Before we go on an expedition for the lost mounds of North Carolina, I thought that I would explain to you what a mound is and how a mound is made. First, what a mound is. An Indian mound was made to commemorate a special event or occasion, such as a wedding or a one battle, sometimes even for worship of pagan gods. And eventually, they were also used for burying dead people. And now, I will explain to you how a mound is made. Right. First, the Indians would take dirt from the ground and then dump it on the area that the desired mound was going to be built on. Then, if a burial mound was wanted to be made, they would first take more dirt from the ground and then dump it on top of said body, thus creating the same in effect, just with a body inside. Now that you know what a mound is and how it's made, we may continue on with the expedition. Greetings, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us today on our amazing expedition to find a mound right here in the wilds of North Carolina. As you can see here, I have taken the liberty of arranging a pile of wood to resemble what a mound would resemble to be like. Except it's made of wood and not dirt. But anyway, I hope that you will stay with us today as we go forth into the unknown to find a mound. My cameraman believes that he knows of the location of a mound. We are now going forward to find this supposed mound and see if it will answer the questions that we are looking for. Are you sure you've seen a mound inside this store before, cameraman? I'm almost positive. Okay. Ben, I found a mound. Where? Where's the mound? Cameraman, this is not a mound. Yes, it is. Read it. Look, I'm not going to... That's not a mound. It's a bar that is covered with chocolate and... and... coconut. This will not do. Cameraman, how many times do I have to tell you it's not a so, mound, it's a candy bar? Is this a mound? It is a candy bar. Well, Obviously yes, not. it is a mound. I don't believe this. This whole store is full of peanuts. It's mostly not a mound. It's a mound. It's a mound. It is a mound. Well, that wasn't right. As you can see, I am still very mad at my cameraman for leading us on that waste of time and speed. We have a very limited budget on this movie and then we can't waste it with faulty lighting and faulty location, which is exactly what he did. And we had to pay a lot of money to get those people to say they forgot what just happened. So now we are greatly on the look for- Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa, there's a mound! 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 I don't believe it! I don't think we find one this Ben! What? That's a fire hydrant. No, it's, it's a mound. It's a fire hydrant. Get in the car. It wasn't a mound. It wasn't a mound. One disappointment after another, and it wasn't a mound. I am being driven to points of extreme desperation to find this mound. Does anyone know where any mounds are? Mound? Any bigger mounds? King's eyes. Until I find this mound, I will not rest.
And so I continued my search for mounds, never resting, never eating, until one day we finally found what we were looking for. I can't believe it! We finally found a mound! finally found a legendary mound. Behold, the mound of Abrigia. See how far it goes in both directions. Mounds. Oh, I love mounds. Towering structures of might and confidence that the ancient Indian tribes of Northern America, and especially North Carolina, love to make in honor of burials or just in honor of legendary circumstances such as a battle or marriage. This bridge was made for the interconnection of two cultures together to form a easier passageway that is marked by a large mound, I guess. Yes. Yes, a mound. And it's beautiful. Places of life and help and happiness. Mounds. Yeah, sure, whatever. Thank you for joining this week on this episode of the Mound Builders. Secrets revealed. Join us again next week as I elaborate on the accounts of Yiddish taco torture. <laughs> huh, look at her. Um, I can cut out all of this, so keep on recording. Just go on and start filming, are you filming? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week as we go. Oh, crap, <laughs> man. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week on this episode of The Mound Builders, Mysteries Revealed. Join us, join us again next week as we... As we talk about the annoyance, waste of time, and total rubbish of stupid parents that repeat every word you say! Join me again next week as I tell about the pros and cons of having a tapeworm. Join me again next week as I elaborate on the horrific accounts of several, um, accounts. Oh, crap, man.